And we're still working our way through Lamentations, and there you are. Glad you're with me. We're looking at Lamentations 3, verses 34 to 36 this morning. Let's just read it straight off the page. To crush under one's feet all the prisoners of the earth, to turn aside the justice due a man before the face of the Most High, or subvert a man in his cause, the Lord does not approve. So let's get something straight. God requires an accounting of all persons. Everybody's going to face the judge. God's not trying to be, you know, Mr. Arbitrary Judge, trying to squish people all over the place. But everybody will face, uh, face the music. Everybody will answer for the deeds done in the flesh. They'll answer for the deeds they've done in their life. God's not, again, that's not the main thing going on. I don't think that God isn't, isn't trying to be Mr. Big Judge. But he wants us to live with eternity in sight because he wants to give us a big reward at the end. So what we have here, it just says basically here that God is not for injustice. God will require an accounting for injustice. If you do mayhem, there will be an accounting for that. And so we don't do that. We just, we, we, whatever, however frustrated we are, we don't manifest that by doing mayhem on this planet of God's. This is his place. So let's keep the mayhem down to a, 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 a low roar. In fact, let's not have any mayhem whatsoever. We're on God's team, and so there doesn't need to be any mayhem. To turn aside justice, do a man before the face of the Most High, he says, yeah, that's, not, that's just not going to go. You're going to try to get away with nonsense? No, it's not going to happen. God wants us to live in this world in a godly way. He wants us to bring the kingdom into being here. We are his, his troop. We are his frontline special team. He has, he has a plan. We are the you know, we're his parachute troops. We're, we're descending into enemy territory, and we're going to live like Jesus in this territory and cause as much consternation among the devils as we can. So God has a big plan for you and I. To subvert a man in his cause, the Lord does not approve. There will be an accounting. So what we want to do is land in, in the landing zone, do what we're supposed to do, live in a, in a way that, uh, that appeals to the, the moral component in people and, and help people come up higher, come up to higher ground and find the kingdom, find the Lord Jesus and be on his team. And the Lord's going to bless that. But, but that's the big thing. Remember, we're in the middle of a war and we're on, I guess, the side of the good guys. We're certainly not on the side of the bad guys. We want God's kingdom to prevail. And it's important that we turn as many hearts away from wickedness and evil as we can. Why? Because the wages of sin is death, not just death, but, but if you never turn, it's eternal death. So we want to keep people from coming to that place where they are brought to non-existence and suffer and then come to a place of non-existence because God hates that, you hate that, I hate that. And if they ever had to experience that, that the, the lost person they would hate it too. So let's let's bring everybody to the throne of God, and he will bless it. Let's pray. Father in heaven, we want to be right. There's a lot to do. There are many hearts that are uh, turned all sideways and, and clueless, clueless, and yet they are walking immediately toward eternity, and they're not ready. Help us to be right. Help us so that we can rescue the perishing and save the dying, Lord, and bring them to worship you with us at the foot of your throne. Thank you for hearing our prayer, Lord. Please work through us by your Holy Spirit. Pour out, Lord, your Holy Spirit, your latter rain on us, that we may do what must be done, and that we can do it with power for your kingdom. Thank you for hearing our prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. There you have it. Let's today live like Jesus wants us to and rescue the perishing.